Hello everyone, this is Dan Herrick with Live Legs and today we're going to be tying the Double Trouble Pink. Very good little fly here. Great for steelhead. And so I'm told Rainbow Trout seem to like this. So what we'll do is we'll get started with the materials list and we're going to use a 720 lip splitter hook size 12. We're going to use Hairline Light Shade Rainbow Scud Dubbing. We're going to use a pink Unithread and a 6 aught. We're going to use a Down and Dirty 3.0 Tungsten Bead. We're going to use for the antenna and the tails a Grizzly Microlave and a White. We're going to use pink lively legs in a size small. For our ribbing, we're going to use a small silver wire. For our wing case, we're going to use a wide pearlescent tinsel. Our head cement is going to be hard as hull, deep penetrating glue, which is very good. So, without further ado, let's get started tying the double trouble pink. What we'll do here, we'll insert our hook like this, and, we'll t and I have a new little tool here, it's um, Dr. Slick's bead tweezer, it's coated with rubber, just basic tweezers with rubber coated which hold the bead pretty good. So with the bead you have a small hole, and you have a big hole, we'll put the small hole on the eye of the hook first. What that will do will keep it from sliding off the eye. We'll reinsert our hook, run our bead back. We'll take some thread and go right behind the eye. We're trying to eliminate as much bulk as we can because what we're going to do is slide the, the um, bead right back over where we're tying in where our, our antenna and if you have too much bulk what's going to happen it's not going to it's not going to slide over it so what we're doing we're trying to eliminate as much as we can and you can manipulate it a little bit you want it right at the side of the eye of the hook pull it tight there we go we'll swing this around I'm going to make a little loop catch it right here on the side tie it in Manipulate it a little bit to get it on the side of the hook. Bring your thread right to the eye. There we go. Now we can move these around a little bit. I think that'll do it. And what we'll do, we'll trim off this excess. Let's double check. Yep, it's fine. There you go. Alright, what we'll do here, we're going to whip finish this. Three, three wraps should be good. Pull it down, snug it. Now, the weight of this loop is making that look like it's, it's hanging down, but it, there you go, see? Put our thread back on. Well, I'm ahead of myself here. We need to wrap our lead wire first. So what we're going to do is we're going to take about eight wraps. Pull it off. Pull it off. Shove it into the head. Okay, now what we're going to do here, take our thread and make a little dam behind that lead wrap here. That's going to keep it from moving. Cover your thread, your lead wraps here. You don't want any of your material going down in the grooves. We'll take it back to the bend, the hook, and we're going to tie in tail fibers. Like so. Here we go. There we go, right there. 
right let's trim off our excess micro our tail fibers here there we go all right we'll tie in our ribbing material Alright, now I'll take a double little body here. And with this, when you use dubbing wax, it grabs a hold of fibers and you're not going to get it on your thread. My suggestion to you is to, to wet a sponge and put some water in it or just lick your fingers a little bit. That's, a, that's the easiest way to do the sow bug. Um, Dubbing. Go right about there. It's a synthetic stuff and it's really difficult to dub. Trim it up a little bit. Alright, let's do our rib. Trim it off with a cheap pair of scissors. Right now, we're going to take our wing case, tie it in. There we go. Now, we're getting ready to set our livery legs, but first, before we do that, we need to put a tiny little bit of a thorax on there so those livey legs have something to hold on to. It doesn't take a lot. This just makes it easier for the livey legs to grab hold of something instead of spinning on a bare hook. Okay, now with your lively legs we'll go over some of the parts. You have a front stub, first set of legs, second set of legs, third set of legs, and the back stub. Hey, we're going to take that front stub, tie that in right behind the bead. Two wraps. Go to the middle. Two wraps. Go right behind that for second set. Two wraps. Bring it back to the middle. Okay, and what we'll do here, we'll trim this back set. And we'll trim this front set. So what you should have is something that looks like this. All right, advance it back to that back set of legs. And we're going to do our, our tie in our do our thorax. Remember, just use a little bit of wet moisture, water, or you can even lick your fingers if you want. I know it sounds strange, but it works. All right. Let's go behind our second set. One, two. Go between the second set two times. Let's check our thorax, which looks good. Pull your front legs up. Wrap. Let's see what we got here. We got a nice looking thorax there, folks. So what we can do here, there's a lot of extra long hairs. You can pull them out, or we can trim them. Then what we'll do here, we'll take our wing case, pull it over, tie it in, Three wraps should be good. Pull it back. Go right behind the bead. Two wraps. Trim off your wing case. Pull your front legs back. Fill in the gaps. All 
that's whip finish watch your antennas in the front your loop it's another reason why I like having the loop it makes it easier to whip finish okay pull there we go push it through look for any long fibers all right let's trim our loop let's trim our loop cut them about one two three four five six take some head cement There you go. Hit the bottom. And there you have the double trouble pink. Give it a go. You might be surprised. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like I always say, tight lines, tight wraps, good fishing.